what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel yesterday we buttoned up the interior on la panda and uh i am super stoked that the interior is all finally back together um there's a few more things i need to do with the interior like hinges for the cargo cover so it's one piece instead of two separate units and uh you really can't see inside but it is near complete i just got to give it another wipe down with the uh, interior cleaner so the pandas moved here to the grass because i need the driveway for a job i'm doing today and uh in the next couple of days or so i am going to be cutting a lot of the rust and orange peel out of the car and give it a nice polished job so that way this car can look its best before it goes Got the all-wheel drive CRX sitting right here awaiting a few more things before we get this car tuned on the street. The bumper is kind of just sitting under loosely right now because it needs to come back off for some charge pipe work. But damn, this car, <laughs> this car got polished out recently and it looks all dull again. That's the downside of uh, single stage sitting in the sun. Today's task is... Uh it's just stripping a car down. I'm stripping the car down to get rid of the shell. I'm not entirely sure if you guys saw the video before this one because um, it was going to be released uh, based off permission. And uh, again, I'm not entirely sure if you guys saw the video before this. But today we're going to be stripping down um, Leo's CRX and uh, have it on its way to the scrapyard. If I'm releasing this video, you guys should have seen the video prior to this one. First and foremost, again, this is Leo's car and uh, you guys have seen it here plenty of time on the channel. The car is now at a total loss. We kind of talked it in the uh, pickup video, but I'm going to give you guys a quick little recap of what had happened here. Um, so if you guys don't know, Leo works at Tesla and he originally worked morning afternoon shift, but he switched it to night shift for the incentive and uh, really just trying to stack up money for himself for uh, the better future so what had happened was Leo scored a drive shaft from the junkyard and he found a buyer which was actually about three or so hours north from him but because he has to travel to Tesla from where he works he decided that he wanted to deliver the drive shaft because he was already out this way far from home and he was just gonna travel another two hours north to deliver the drive shaft to the potential buyer now working a long 12 hour shift he uh got out early in the morning and then he headed up north knowing that he was tired and all but um really was just trying to chase the bag and i don't blame the guy for doing so but during his trip up north he was approaching a toll bridge and um he said all he remembered was seeing the toll he was stepping on his brakes and remember waking up on impacts. So Leo fell asleep behind the wheel and hit the toll plaza itself and was wedged between the two uh, barrier. And uh, that's all he remember was waking up with the impact and a lot of chest pain. So Leo was actually transported to the hospital. The car was at the tow yard. An EMT actually texted me in the morning and said that Leo was in a car accident using Leo's phone. So I got up and was trying to search for him. Uh, we were able to pin him down where he was at, where the car was located. So the next morning he was actually discharged because he didn't require any surgery, although he did have a fractured chest bone and uh, a lot of laceration and bruises from the seatbelt and obviously the impact so the next morning I, I went to go rent a dolly I went to go pick up Leo from the hospital I went to go pick up the car with him grab some food came home and the car has just been resting right here for the last couple of days Leo's back at home off of work just recovering and uh, he doesn't have a transportation to come out here to me because I am still about an hour out away from him but I told him to bring the car here because I have the space, the tool, and the time to do it to strip this car down and move on to the next thing. We're truly blessed that Leo is still alive, walking, breathing, and is well and on the road to recovery. Cars are replaceable, lives aren't, but for the passion of him with cars, I really want to continue helping him with the legacy and continue working on cars. So the car is here, and in today's video, guys, I'm gonna try my best to strip this car down entirely for all of its good stuff and have this thing on its way to the yard. So I'm gonna throw you guys on the time lapse from now forward. Let's get to work.
All right, guys, so I did quite a lot of time lapse, and I believe I left you guys on the rear interior. We stripped down literally everything back here, even the quarter panel window trim and uh this back end is pretty much ready to just toss a bunch of scrap metal in here i did pull the harness forward everything that relates to the tail light is right here up in the front and uh the last thing i'm going to take off in the back here is the trunk or the hatch and i'm going to do that tomorrow now as far as the rest of the stuff that's coming out of the car before it goes to the yard is the front half of the interior i am going to continue into the night to take off the front seats and the carpet and stuff is probably going to wait till tomorrow because i need the vacuum to get all the glass off before i handle the carpet but again i'm going to try to do as much as i can tonight the last piece i want to take off the car is the front subframe which is right there and uh that's still on because i need to get underneath the dashboard to take off the joint that connects to the rack and pinion so we can drop that as a whole Booster and Master is going to come out once I have access to the pedal underneath the dashboard. The dashboard is coming off as well, guys. But I am not going to record the rest of what I am going to do tonight because it is hard to get a light inside the car to give you guys a good visual of uh, what all I am doing. And I move around so much that I knock the camera over. I've done it a couple of times. I don't know if you guys picked it up, but... Um, I am definitely going to try to do my best to take most of it tonight so that way tomorrow is just the big stuff and hopefully we can get the car um, out of the driveway. Don't worry guys, I will share um, the last send off with this car to the yard and uh, I just want to show you guys quickly before I, I, I put all my stuff away. All the tools that you guys see right here on the table, just literally this stuff right here on the table is all that I've been using to literally dismantle this entire car from suspension to engine to the interior the whole freaking nine and if you look nothing fancy big gun for the wheels and big bolts we got the uh, 3 8 impact right here for a lot of the i don't care bolts um a lot of various sockets from 12 14s the 10s 19s and you know these are the half inch these are three eights uh you can see i'm using just um a needle nose uh flathead um pry bar wire cutters extensions 12 14 17 very basic stuff here guys and you guys saw what all we've done to uh cc Quick little update guys, so we got the dashboard pulled out and uh, carpet is removed as well as the sunroof and the hatch thanks to the homie David. Uh, he came by to pick up the seatbelt because Leo sold him a driver's side and uh, he was on the hunt for a passenger for him but this happened first. So the seatbelt came out of this car and uh, you know David's going to have seatbelts now for his and uh, he is buying the carpet as well. So we just got all that yanked out for him. Hardware, plastic trims and everything he needs to put this in his CRX. So the only thing left I got to do is uh, I've said this a thousand times now and uh, I kind of feel like I don't want to record it because it's just so much process and I just need to get it done. All of this stuff on the fireball is coming out. That means I have access to pull in all of the harness through the fireball out. And then, uh, where is it at? The harness runs across the driver's side, pull all of that out. And this car is literally going to be a shell. So after talking to Leo, um, we came to terms and David is actually buying the door panels. And uh, he is also buying the sunroof. So Leo's not going to need any of this anytime soon. And we don't have the space for it anyways. And it can go to a good cause. So uh, David is, David is definitely going to put work into his car here real soon because... He's motivated. He's definitely motivated. And I'm gonna go help him if he calls me.
I know he got it. Thank you. That's convertible, boy. Some things are just easier. So I just want to simply say, um, the paint job held up pretty good. Uh, this is pretty much the damage from the tow truck driver from trying to get the car unwedged between the toll. And this right here was the barrier that it uh, sweeped against. You can see the paint's holding on pretty, pretty strong. And this right here was the jaws of life. You can look at it and see that not a lot of paint came off. Pretty thick, got some primer down in there. And uh, the, the single stage definitely held up great. I must say so myself at least. So we pretty much have the interior stripped out guys. Everything we're not keeping is in here. Everything we are keeping is out. Harness is over there. Um, AC delete is also sitting right there. Steering column, Leo already took that. Dashboard kind of stashed away for right now, but everything we're keeping from this car is stripped out of the car. So I debated on chopping the car up just to move it off the driveway and have it compiled somewhere right here where somebody can just come and take it as scrap metal. But I also posted up a little feeler of anybody who can come and tow it as a whole tomorrow. I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow to figure out what it is that I am going to do, but yeah it's been a long two day process of stripping cc down and um it's very unfortunate to see it this way but a lot of the parts that came off the car are going to help a few other crx's get back up on the road all i'm going to do right now is just clean up all my tools half the stuff is already out of the garage because leo picked it up with his friends earlier and there's just a few more things that's got to go um to his storage to kind of clear up space here in the garage i'm just going to toss whatever um that i pulled off the car that's sitting right here in the side of the house all this stuff right here i'm going to toss it back into the car and get it out of you know the walkways and stuff like that and make it look less messier um you know to the eye of people who come down the block so i am going to wrap up the video right here again i will include when this car leaves the driveway at the end of this video i hope you guys are looking forward to the next chapter we're definitely going to uh bounce back from this i'm going to try to help leo um find another shell and pretty much help him get back up on his feet and uh hopefully leo will have a car to mob again real soon so if you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to leave a thumbs up and if you guys want to stick around and see what all we do for leo be sure to hit the subscribe button but with that being said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace Hell yeah!